Hey everybody, it's JP. Recently I've been learning how to do RNG manipulation for Fire Red and Leaf Green using SFAND's RNG tutorial. It's very good. I am putting a link in the description of this video uh, for you to watch it because it's still very useful, um, especially if you're better at visual cues over audio cues. But my problem is I am not. I am much better at an audio cue uh, than I am for a visual cue. So I went through and I was actually watching some Gen 4 and Gen 5 runners and they were some of them were using Eon Timer. Eon Timer is a frame countdown program that counts uh, you down to a specific frame so that you can press A at the correct time for you to generate your Squirtle, uh, to get specific RNG, to get your trainer ID, etc. And with that, I have also uh, clarified where your trainer ID is generated, where the actual seed, RNG seed, is generated, and where exactly you can uh, press A to get Squirtle while doing all this research. Um, I got some info from MK Dasher and also information from the Smogon forums uh, for RNG manipulation. So up here in the top right is Eon Timer with the Glaceon here. Um, it has four different tabs, f Gen 5, Gen 4, Gen 3, and then Custom. We're focused on Gen 3. Uh, there are four different uh, selections here. There's Mode between Standard and Variable Target. Standard is specifically for Ruby and Sapphire without a active battery. Uh, that allows you to accurately get a Trainer ID and an accurate uh, Mudkip from there. But we can't do that with Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Emerald, so we choose Variable Target. Factor is by default set to 1. Pre-timer by default is set to 5,000. However, you can just put it to 0. I just like it at 0. Pre-timer is there to count you down to reset your, uh, your game to get a specific trainer ID. Useful for Gen 4 and 5. And then target frame is the frame that you are aiming to hit. So when you press start and then later on press update, it will give you a countdown to the target frame and then it will count from 5 to 0 and it will time you directly into the frame. And it counts down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and on 0 is when you would press the A button in order to get the frame that you need. Uh, in addition, there are some settings uh, with the settings button here. Three tabs, Actions, Application, Timer. Uh, the only one that's relevant is Timer, um, at least as far as this tutorial goes. The console, it has a drop-down box for Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, DSi, or 3DS. Um, that's to accurately generate the frame rate that you need. Uh, if you're using Game Boy Player or Game Boy Advance, you would select GBA. If you are running uh, your Fire Red cartridge off of a Nintendo DS console, you'll select Nintendo DS because they do run at two different frame rates, although very slight differences between them. Uh, down at the bottom, there is the refresh interval. Uh, by default, it's set to 8. Uh, I have it set to 1. A lower number gives you better performance at or better accuracy at the cost of performance, I should say. So if you have a computer good enough to handle it, I would definitely suggest having a lower refresh interval in order to accurately maintain your timer. With that, uh, you would set it up with Live Split. The big thing to do to set it up with Live Split is you have to set your split button, and or rather your start button, on Live Split to Spacebar. As you can see on the Eon Timer, Update is highlighted in blue, and I can use the arrow keys in order to move it over to Save, to Start, Oop. and if I go too far, I accidentally move over to the tabs. But you want the blue highlight hovered over Start, so that way when you press the Space Bar and you have Live Split with the global hotkey of Start set to Space Bar, and you're focused on Eon Timer, both start at once, or at least as close to once as possible. So you'll want to press A and then, uh, and also press your spacebar at the same time in order to accurately 
get Eon Timer going. The second piece that you need is you need RNG Reporter. RNG Reporter is available from the Smogon forums. Again, there will be a link in the description below for it. With RNG Reporter, you can actively generate uh, frames for encounter RNG and for Pokemon RNG in order to get specific stats for your Pokemon, look for shinies, etc. Um, so here is actually a screenshot of the program. Just to quickly go through the settings, we have the method set to method 1. That's the default method. Uh, that's the one that's generated whenever you have a uh, fateful encounter with a Pokemon, like you get gifted a Pokemon, you run into a Moltres or a Zapdos or something like that. You use method 1 in order to generate that Pokemon. Um, you have 600 maximum results. That way you get 10 seconds of buffer in order to find a Squirtle. And the start or starting frame for Fire Red Leaf Green is 4100. That's the earliest opportunity that you would like to have in order to get a Squirtle with runnable stats. Uh, runnable stats greater than or equal to 24 attack, greater than or equal to 25 special attack, greater than or equal to 25 or 19 speed, and nature is mild or rash. For HP, defense, special defense, these are set to none, left blank. That'll get any value for those, and it won't care about them, because we really don't care. You also don't care about gender or ability. The ability is always the same. The gender doesn't matter. Uh, it's better to have female, but it really doesn't matter. Once you have your trainer ID, you can use a hex converter in order to get it to the seed box down here. And once you press generate, it will generate squirtles based on your original seed, which you get from your trainer ID. So, for example, in the screenshot, with a seed of zero, there are two runnable squirtles. There is rash uh, 25 special attack and then rash 26 special attack at frame 4519 and 4521, respectively. Uh, most likely, we would go for 4521 in this case, because it has better attack, better special attack, better speed, is female, has perfect defense, etc. In order to figure out which frame you need, you need to get your seed. To get your seed, you need to get your trainer ID. Uh, and to get that, you need to know when the trainer ID is actually generated. So we said earlier that 4100 is the general starting frame that you want to go for with RNG Reporter. That's the amount of time it takes from seed generation to choosing your Squirtle at the earliest convenience. So for that, we need to find out where the seed is generated. The seed is actually generated uh, when you press OK on this screen. 18 frames after you press OK, the seed is generated, and then four frames later, your trainer ID is generated from that seed. So I press OK here, and the seed is generated. I have my trainer ID. I can go through and check my stats. And if you decide that you don't like your name, you can always press no and go back, and when you press OK again, it will generate a new frame, a new seed, a new trainer ID. Everything before that doesn't matter. You can spend forever on the boy-girl selection screen if you're having a war and chat over it. So in order to do a test run, we'll go for target frame 4500. Uh, down here is just an example. Uh, we have... On, this is actually on seed 0. So on seed 0, frame 4500 is a hasty uh, nature with 31 IV defense. In order to get an accurate target frame, you're not going to put in 4500. 
you're actually going to put in 4482. This is because it takes 18 frames to generate the seed, so you've got to aim for a... you've got to aim your timer less in order to give you the proper amount of time to get to Squirtle. So 18 frames less than your target frame is where you want to go. So once you have your target frame entered, uh, click update so that you can focus your uh, blue outline on update. Move it over to start. And then if you have your splits uh, set up correctly, uh, you'll press A and spacebar at the same time. And you'll see that Eon Timer, uh, the start button changed to cancel. And you just mash through this as fast as possible in order to give yourself as much time as possible. So as soon as you get control, check your ID, 11686. You'll take that and put it into your hex converter. Leading zeros don't matter. Once you have that hexadecimal number, you can either copy and paste it in or just type it in. So mine for 11686 is 2DA6. So you mash through that, you click generate, and you get a bunch of new ones. So our target is this quirky one with perfect attack and 30 speed, but zero special attack and defense. So you mash through this. Oh, and then you click update once you know your frame. This is where it's generated when you press A after this text. I also pressed my pause button on my split at the same time to show you when I pressed A. So hopefully that got me frame 4500, and I got this quirky Squirtle. But we'll find out. We actually got the quiet Squirtle that was right after it. Or did we? Let's see, 11, yeah, we did. So the quiet Squirtle, which is right after it, so, minus speed, so the 27 stat doesn't matter. Uh, plus special attack, so the 3 stat doesn't matter. Uh, but it does have 0 attack, so we can see that attack is 9 there. Uh, so we know that we were exactly one frame off of our target Squirtle with this. Um, and that's using the sound countdown from Eon Timer. Now that we've gone through and done a sample run uh, with frame 4500, now we'll go through and do a real-life run, a uh, real-life test. Uh, so we're going to use greater than or equal to 24 attack, greater than or equal to 25 special attack, greater than or equal to 25 spe or 19 speed, uh, looking for mild or rash nature, with starting frame 4100 and maximum results of 600. So set up your name and your character. Make sure it's over over okay. On Eon timer, timer, make sure you're focused and that the blue highlight is over start. And then press A and space at the same time. Fastest rival name, A start A. If you mess it up, then it just wastes a couple of uh, precious frames for you to find everything necessary. Check your ID. 28430. Type that in. Gives us 6F0E as our seed. And generate, and we get 1 at 4435. So calculator 4435 minus 18. That gives us 4417 as our target frame. Uh, Put that in, click update, and you'll get your countdown on Eon Timer. Get through here. 
and get on Squirtle Selection. And hopefully you got it. And we got Sirius instead. So with a serious nature, um, our starting frame, we end, we were aiming for 44.35, so in a second RNG reporter that I have up, 4425 will be our starting frame. Uh, the seed was 6F0E, and then maximum results 20. Uh, for nature, go ahead and put in the nature you got to make it e easier to see. Uh, in this case, we were serious. And I ended up getting 4439, which was four frames late. Um, very unfortunate. But that can happen. Um, you might just mistime it barely. This is a 60 frame per second game, so it is a 1 in 60 chance to hit the exact frame you need. So, if you don't hit it... Um, it's not the end of the world, you'll just reset and try again. It will take you some time to do, no matter if you use the visual method or the audio method, uh, but it can be done, and as you see, I can get within, uh, within five frames quite easily. So thank you all for watching. Um, I actually did multiple attempts of the real life one. Didn't get any usable uh, squirtles with a correct time frame. Uh, I always came within like one or two frames and four at the very end. Um, I couldn't get an accurate squirtle to show it off. But it does work. I have done it before. Um, you can use either the visual method or this timing method. Either one does work. They are both very accurate. I am more preferential to the audio one than the visual one. Um, but you can do either one. And with these, with this strat and with these, this knowledge, hopefully you'll be able to get better squirtles and get runs at a faster pace. And I'm hoping I get that as well. That way I can improve my time for both any percent and round two uh, in the future. So once again, um, thanks to SFANB, Rauschmore, and MK Dasher uh, for the information that led to knowing how RNG Minip works for Fire Red and Leaf Green starting from New Game. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, uh, at JP Mannix, or leave a comment in the YouTube, or leave a comment on the forum thread for Pokemon speedruns that I'll probably just add to Svane B's thread, but I might also uh, make a new thread as well. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on Twitch.